Okay, well, without pictures, I've got this figured out pretty much. It looks like the way it goes is the two outer pads on each side. This is the outer pad here. The outer pads for the power wires, those go to the front. So outer goes to the front. This is the outer pad here and it goes to the front. And that's true because the lengths of my wires are, are correct. That means the inner pads, inner, inner pad left, goes to the left uh, bottom motor. And I can tell from my tape that's how it was. And the bottom right pad here goes to the right motor. And again, I have tape here as a clue where I taped it up to the frame. So I'm going to go with that. You can see how nice that looks all together. So the trick with this is you get the wires out of the way. So this wire here will tag along with it. The control wire for the ESC, of course, is going to be the front um, right, and the bottom right goes to the bottom right here. So you want to tag these wires together in the same channel. And for this one, you want to go around the the frame boss member here and up through the conduit. I always put this little curly wire on the bottom and we're going to put it right through. We'll put the black and white through here for the ESC power, right through the hole again. That should do it. Now you want to tuck these in to the frame and make sure they don't pop out when you are putting this all together. So that takes care of that motor. There, that's in there nicely. Then we got a little bit of slack here for the uh, ESC controller to get it soldered back on. So that's that. Let's get a little tug on these wires to get them, a little tug to get them uh, some slack from the main board. Okay, look at that. So I got the slack out of those. And what did I harm in doing that? Nothing, really. So look at that. That was good. Can we get slack out of these other wires here? Let's try it out. These are pretty taut right now. There might be a little bit of slack we can get. Let's try it out. So let's give these a little tug here. Just a little bit. There's one thing we didn't do, though, on this side, was we forgot to put in the control wire, so that's bad. So let's find the control wire. The control wire for this motor would be this wire, because it's top and it's facing the motor. So on the circuit board, the control wire facing that motor is the one that goes to it, and that would be this one here. So uh, I think the way I did this last time, I snuck this wire around here, and I put it right over the TXRX up to the motor and I will have to take this wire back out because I want to put the, the, the curly wire, the control wire, under the main wires because it holds it in. So let's do it like that. That's probably not kosher. But I like the slack. So let's do it like that. In she goes. And we'll put these wires back in. Hopefully you can see all this. And we go. There, that's rather nice. So for that motor, these are probably pretty well. Gonna give them a little tug to get some slack here out of them. And those are looking good. So that motor's done. All pre-wired. Okay, well we have two more motors to go that are on the back of the aircraft. So for this back motor here, we have two wires that are obviously here because of tape. We have the ESC wire here. Look at this one is straight shot right down through. So we get down to the channel here. I hope you can see this. And here we go through the big opening, which is not really the same as the back of the craft, but or the front, but that's the way it goes. Okay, this is the, the, the inner, which uh, which goes to the bottom here. 
Yeah, and this goes together very nicely. Make sure it's tucked in. And that should do it. This is a very tight fit when this thing goes together, so you want to make sure there's no wires that are impeding your progress when you assemble this back with two halves. That is also a painful process. Okay, so we're back with this motor. Let's make sure this thing's really pushed in here far. And it is. Let's check for slack. Make sure that there is some slack or these wires are, are serviceable when you're soldering. Yep, they look pretty good. So that leaves our last motor. So I have some tape here because I had all the stuff taped together on the other frame. So I'm not too worried about this one being wrong. It's the last one and it lines up well. So let's get this stuff routed up. Um, it's strange, I have this tape here. Did the tape slip down or something happened? I'm not sure why it is uh, the way it is. But obviously here we don't have enough room. Oh, okay, so I can slide right through my tape. And uh, those wires are now over this plug, which is probably for the GPS. But I, I remember that's, that was like that, so I'm not going to worry about it, okay? And now you want to, so you want to get your little ESC control wire, which is a small curly wire, under here first. And pull this wire, get some slack out of it, there we go. Put it through. And it's on the bottom. Now let's put this wire through here, get it poking out of there. Our last DC wire for the ESC board for the last motor here we're working on. And okay, what do I see here? I see the uh, the on the sheath here is really moved around, so we're going to put the sheath back, which is actually probably heat conductive or I'm sorry, heat shrink tubing. So you want to make sure your tubing is correct. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of room for air here. This is basic assembly stuff, but. If you're sloppy, you're going to pinch your wires in your frame, and I've done that, and you must take it apart again, so you don't want to take it apart again. So, okay, the last motor is in here. And there it is. So we access the wires, sort of. We'll probably need to get a screwdriver or something to get these wires up. Let's do that. Okay, there they are. They're accessible. So that ESC board can go on in there too later on. So that's about it there. Okay, so now all your motor wires are routed. What I see as a real problem is I didn't really pay attention to the polarity of this battery wire. And this could go in either way and it's not polarized here so if you get this wrong you're going to blow up your copter I'm sorry but if you put positive into a negative and negative into a positive you'll blow this thing up I don't see any big diodes on this board that would act as a um, protection so you have to get this wire right and of course I didn't take a picture of it so I'll have to go back in the previous photos of my uh, bird to see where uh, to see how that goes on Okay, well, we'll stop this video and we'll put the battery compartment on next.